I was a bit, um, I would say, I don't want to say burnout y, but, <laughs> but uh, I was a bit tired of my job. I'm a, a domotica, domotics uh, installation type of electrician. So uh, I was uh, serving the, the lucky uh, and a few rich uh, people. I didn't find uh, the energy anymore to uh, try to find the next rich guy uh, to sell some uh, things he actually didn't need. But I had uh, a green thumb, so uh, I wanted to automate some things like irrigation and stuff uh, in my own uh, vegetable garden at home. And then uh, I started YouTubing with a sick baby on my arm all night long, no biorhythm at all. And then uh, the, the marvelous algorithm of YouTube guided me to vertical farming. And uh, well, yeah, it got, it got me inspired. And, and, and then I was looking uh, in Europe, what is going on in Europe in this field. And uh, I was a bit disappointed. And then it grew on me. And I, I got inspired, yes. Antwerp is a, a cool enough city to have its, its own uh, vertical farm, so... Uh... You can't compare to anything, you, you, you know what lettuce costs in, in conventional stores and, and there's nobody to talk to, especially for the, the, the Belgian market. Uh, so, um, well, we just had the feeling that uh, we have to do it and the business plan will evolve some way, uh, but uh, it's very hard to, to find an investor without a business case. Uh, so um, I just uh, uh, went out there and tried to find somebody who, um, who shared the same belief that it was about time to start vertical farming in Antwerp. I had a bit of a, a history of uh, telling my big plans to everybody around me, always telling me you're crazy, it's not gonna work. And this time I said, I'm gonna do it diff differently. Uh, so I, um, I just uh, didn't told anybody till I got the funding and the location. And then I told, oh yeah, by the way, next week I'm, uh, I'm dropping a farm in, in Antwerp. Humanity has a, has a tendency to destroy nature. And it's about time we, uh, we start protecting what's left and uh, maybe giving back to nature as well. So it makes sense to, to grow uh, produce near to every city, except the, uh, far away from the city and, and all the transportation and, and all the food loss that uh, is accompanied by uh, all these transport and all these steps in between. So many problems to solve and I, I, uh, with conventional agriculture and, and vertical farming could solve them all, I have a feeling.